the stage and say thank you from my side for the moment. extend that thank you from the, the Vivid Worldwide community um, for inviting us here today. Um, so I'm Jonathan Wright, I'm the, uh, one of the newly elected board members uh, for advocacy, which is partner focused. Um, Vivid, uh, I found out today, is, is celebrating its 25th year uh, at the end of this month, which is a pretty impressive uh, achievement. Uh, and I started with the, the community back in the 90s when it was Mercury Interactive and and up to Mercury, so we've seen the Open View uh, community and also the, those uh, HP uh, E customers and end users uh, actually being part of the, our following, which is about 32,000 uh, worldwide members across 121 countries uh, after GDPR. Um, so it's, a, it's quite a bit of an achievement uh, and it is growing and um, when we got invited today for the, to extend and really complement the Open Horizon which has been focused on those channel partners, really we were touching on to the, the end users and those practitioners and, and they've grown up with us as well. Uh, so over, pretty much over that 25 year period there's a lot more decision makers, not just the practitioners. Um, so we've seen a switch as well. And also as the portfolio extends, and I think there's a bit of a, an emphasis around it shifting left and right, and really understanding where the other portfolio can complement uh, your, you know, this is really the explore aspect. Um, and yeah, so one of our areas has really been about providing feedback directly to MicroFocus uh, with things like the Customer Advisory Board, and really kind of giving feedback to the product managers of MicroFocus around what the, uh, the end users and the practitioners really need uh, and help represent them and give them a voice. So we've got a, a huge sat, uh, a talent of uh, a board of directors. Uh, uh, Richard, who was the president, who was scheduled to speak at this event, uh, unfortunately uh, is in another country, and, and people like Todd DiCaprio, who was the chief technology evangelist for HPE, uh, have all joined to kind of help facilitate this. So we're driving this as a kind of a non-exec board to, to really help the community uh, for, as a non-for-profit. Non um, so I'll, I'll just move on to kind of cover off the main pillars of, of FIBIT. Uh, and I, I think I mentioned a little bit around the community side of things. So we actually have 83 uh, local user groups. Uh, actually, I was sat down with um, one of the attendees earlier around the German uh, local interest group, and we were just kind of saying, well, actually, you know, anyone could schedule a meeting. We've started using Meetup to actually facilitate this um, and talk about any one of those portfolio to uh, topics. So we've got 20 different uh, specialist interest groups. So now monthly we're doing SIG talks, so these specialist interest group talks, which are broadcast on a new platform we've got, uh, literally the last couple of days, which in real time will translate it into whatever language you can come from. So those 121 different countries that our end users are, you'll be able to attend and watch the presentations for the project product managers, uh, or from end users or customers, or even partners who want to be able to, to get involved with our Vivid uh, Engage. So really it gives people the, a platform uh, all this content's available on demand, and also there's a huge community behind there, so you can just reach out to any of those members and really kind of focus and get together to talk around the micro-focus uh, uh, platforms. And then from an education, we also have uh, available a number of different sessions, which we do as far as webinars. Uh, we also do sessions directly with micro-focus at their events, uh, and we also provide discounts for, for members who join. So I definitely recommend checking out the vividworldwide.org uh, and sign up today, if you, especially if you're a partner or a, an end customer. So that connection of, with you know, the best and brightest, uh, you know, like I said, they, they've kind of pivoted a little bit in the last few years and we're starting to see a lot of influencers <coughs> coming in there as far as decision makers and a lot of feedback. And, and part of what we've tried to do is give those guys a voice, but also give them the opportunity to, for a bit of a career development, so like I mentioned, I started back in the 90s with Vivid and uh, you know, part of it was building my confidence and speaking at uh, local events, uh, connecting with other people and also contributing to things like white papers. So there's a huge amount of uh, case studies and white papers from end customers 
and we can connect you into there. So if it's in your particular field and you're interested, just go in and have a look, look online. Um, it's obviously free, and now that GDPR has kicked in, you know, we really are, uh, it's important for privacy. So you're able to go in there, you're able to select what region you are from. So in Germany, that's split up. You can then attend those events. We've started using collaboration tools like Slack to actually bring the community in to talk about events. Um, and we also send you discounts and, and interest and stuff if you for attending the microphone focus events as well. So I think for anyone who's been on the uh, in the Marriott this this morning, uh, Stephanie will, is actually here, uh, another director from Vivid, to, uh, to really help people understand a little bit of what we look from the microfocus and the, leg, uh, the HPE side of things, and also what our plan going forwards is to deal with the more wider portfolio. So definitely drop by the booth and um, and also find out about these the new specialist interest groups because they do align with the new pillars, which I know the the, the guys will be going through and covering this uh, this afternoon. So. With that, I'd like to thank you, and I'm going to hand it back over um, to you for a bit of housekeeping. Thanks, John. My pleasure. Can I have a mic? Thank you, John. Um, so let me just, uh, you know, this, this, this idea of community, let me just share.